And with COVID cases also rising again, some are wondering if restrictions should go back in place. Metro now considering having mask only rail cars. Paris Jones is live tonight in Silver Spring to explain the details of that plan. Paris. Yeah, that's right. This is something that Metro officials say they're actively looking into. Right now, they're just trying to check to see how feasible this would be. But one of their biggest concerns right now, just how to enforce it. Some people might get upset, but I, I mean, end of the day, they should be more concerned about other people's health and their health. Uh, COVID is not over. The Metro riders we spoke with, for the most part, agreed with the idea of designating some rail cars as mask only. I would think it'd be a good idea for mask only, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I have a child that's too young for vaccination, so I like to stay masked up, especially, you know, inside of places. So if there's the option, I would love for it to be that. Some say it should depend on case count. I know numbers are rising, but I think it really just depends on how everybody feels. And, you know, if some people need that for safety concerns or they have amino compromise organizations and like that's fine. Now the idea of mask only rail cars was thrown out during Thursday's special board of directors meeting. Metro officials say it's something they were already considering. We've benchmarked and talked to New Jersey Transit who are also looking into a mask only car. But officials say there's concern about how to enforce it and how it could create conflict among some riders. The quiet car has a pretty storied history. Um, of having some, some conflict there and needing some attention. It also comes at a time where there's been an increase of assaults on Metro employees during the pandemic. We believe it had a lot to do with mental health issues. Um, um, where, you know, I think at one point, customers were not getting their medicine, were not getting the treatment they needed, and were coming on board. And that led to, you know, altercations not only with our bus operators but with our customers. The CDC still recommends wearing a mask in indoor public transportation settings. Metro says they're still making masks accessible to riders and will continue to do so. And we did follow up with Metro about the idea. They said they're still in the early stages of researching this, but no timing or decisions have been made just yet. Back to you.